letter of victory when by all worldly standards the writer is has lost is lost in every which way uh, but still he has the moral and the spiritual uh, vantage point as well as authority to able to write as if he has actually won now the situation was that you know the moguls had laid siege to anandpur which was guru gobind singh's fort and city and after many battles it's a long story i won't go into it there is an introductory essay in the book which details that but there were many sieges of anandpur and the city was put to great amount of stress and people ultimately the remaining populace with uh begged uh guru gobind singh that you please leave if you leave we will live to fight another day and then the the moguls actually gave him a promise written on a uh, written i mean sworn on the quran so you know written on the quran as uh, affirmation of that that you he and his family and his immediate followers who left would be given safe passage uh, now i don't think uh, he would have believed it but he followed it and as soon as they left of course the promise was broken and the promise was broken and uh, they were attacked uh, those of his uh, 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 followers who were with him fought many of them died and he was separated uh with his two sons on one side and his mother wife and wife was taken elsewhere and the two other sons were separated now as we all would know the younger sons were then uh, prosecuted by the nawab of sirhan and were actually uh um uh, built up into an you know into a wall alive and and the guru gobind singh then went off with his two elder sons and a handful of followers and ultimately they reached the a small village of champor where they entered the to cold of a mud fortress a small mud fortress the gadi of champor and a, a tremendous battle was fought there with a huge mughal force in which each of the 40 soldiers would come out in batches of five and fight to the end including the guru's two elder sons after that ultimately he left champor alone and then you know caught up with some of his followers later he was in the jungles of machiwada he had no, nothing with him uh he had got news of the loss of all his four sons of I mean, two he knew but also the other two and uh, it was then in that in that situation when he actually is is nothing you know um, he has um, no support he has no material things to show and then he writes a letter of victory is because in spirit he had actually won and because of the fundamental deception of breaking of a promise sworn on the quran so you know that is the, that is the crux uh, of of this uh, uh, message so interesting